All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is our eighth video in a series of Noita 1.0 first playthrough. Will be released tomorrow, October 15th. Hope you're as hyped about it as I've been. And we're about to kill the boss. Yep, it's that time. It's boss time. Our wands, unfortunately, are pretty terrible. Um, I am not happy with our wand selection. It's going to be the social distancing wand that's probably going to win the day. Um, our digging wand's not going to help us too much. And this is this will help with lava. Like, if we get in trouble with lava, we have a way to get out of it. So it's going to be good to keep this uh, ready to go. But we're going to go ahead and kill the boss. And, yeah, without further ado, it's boss time. music too, I like it. Here's our friend Three Eyes. There's the salt. Uh, a couple things about this fight is that lava's gonna start coming down, but we have ways to deal with that. We're going to not even worry about lava this fight by placing that there. There's a similar one on the other side. Place. This there. And that's going to block the lava from coming down. You don't have to prepare this arena. What will happen is that this lava will come down, this will also break, and that will fall. Um, but sometimes the lava will overflow, so I prefer to play it safe and just whatever way I can to get the lava, either get the lava to stop or to deal with it early. So, um, what we're going to do is when we start this fight, before we start this fight, I'm going to go ahead and drink this entire potion Berserkium. It's going to allow me to do double damage the entire fight. Uh, this boss should have... Uh, in early access, it had 1,200 HP and had a bit of uh, damage reduction, so we're going to have to be careful about that. We do have Circle of Vigor as a backup if we really need to um, panic, so to speak. So let's go ahead and get this going. Try to explain the fight while it's going on, but it can get pretty hectic. Here we go. Picked up the salt, and he immediately puts a shield up. And this is new. Oh, that goes through the shield? I had no idea. If that goes through the shield, this guy's dead. Deader than dead. Down he goes. Interesting new mechanics to the fight. I hope I get to see that on a more low percentage-ish run with a worse one at some point to see just all the changes that they did. Um, but yeah, that guy has no problem. The new shield is pretty... how to say it? Not threatening. But we're not done yet. We could take that portal to the end, but we're going to go back up where we came from, and we're going to start collecting some orbs here. Um, and just to basically go through what orbs are, um, they're, at least on the first playthrough, they're ways to, to uh, unlock things within the game. So, um, one of the, uh, a lot of the spells that are in this game are unlocked through orbs. So we're going to try to collect all the main world orbs now, all 11 of them. And you can see we're digging back up. And we're going to come right back up in the laboratory, uh, uh, not in the laboratory, uh, in the Temple of the Art. We pretty much have been here already. You can see this is kind of where we came through a little earlier. Not quite this way, but you know, very close. Um, so we're going to, go, going to go back up. We're going to go all the way up outdoors. We're going to use this invisibility help us out. Ooh, pheromone. Um, I didn't take it before because I didn't need it. Let me hold, hold on here because I'm going to drop the salt momentarily. Because the salt instantly went in my inventory. I don't want that. So we're going to do that. <clears throat> we keep going upwards. Pretty sure we looked at this wand. It was garbage. Yeah, hot garbage. I'm not going to be checking out any new ones just yet.
We don't want to go into areas we haven't been, because there could be some pretty nasty enemies there. Keeping in mind that we could still run across some nasty enemies that have uh, come back the way we went, like this guy here. Perfect example. Got some Buzzy Boys over here. What's up, Buzzy Boys? Take them out, no problem. Interesting, there's particles in this blood. I don't know what those particles are, or if they mean anything. Oops, very interesting things. Additions to the game. Still being careful going back up, respecting the fact that there could be enemies around any corner. And here we are, back at the Holy Mountain. We did not collapse this Holy Mountain, so we can just walk right back in. We've already built a way back up, so let's take it. Oh, is there something there? Uh, no, it's not. And now we have to be careful here, because it's very likely that enemies in here will be roaming around. You'll notice we have some projectiles uh, coming around us. That's the salt doing that. Nothing too unusual. We're just pretty much going back up the way we came. We're going to start looking for some orbs. Interesting colored blood there. It's uh, not what I would have expected for blood. I think we came up this way. There's some explosions off to the right. Let's hope they stay off to the right. Oh, we have Uko. Yikes. Uko trying to end the run. But he can't. came this way. I'm not sure, but there are enemies over here. Two of them. Three of them. At this point, we have no interest in gold. Um, we'll see something cool in the outdoors as well that's going to possibly help us with gold later on. The tentacle monster up here is trying to give us some good. We'll drink a little bit of this. Why not? Give us a little bit of faster movement. Come up to the next holy mountain. Now this one we did collapse, but you know, this one tearing through it is not a problem. Uh, we want to be careful with where we dig up because we don't want to have that eye spew liquid down here. So we'll do a different angle this time. And also I'm not going to use black holes for this. Although I probably should, honestly. I don't think there's a problem using black holes. Let's do that. Oops, these black holes. Uh, I also have this to make them go faster, which means they'll travel further. Yeah, I was teleporting. Right there. It's new to this patch. Very, very good stuff. Uh, let's put this back to a digging one. Here's what I'll do. I'll move these all over. And... I don't know what else I put on there. Almost perfect. We'll just swap between those two every time I need to do it. So back up to the jungle. This is not where we came down. We ended up coming down to the right, so we are going to have to prepare ourselves for extra enemies such as that. That is a bad one, but we took them out pretty quick. We do have worms to deal with. Uh, I don't want to drink that because I might accidentally drink poison, and that will end as you would expect. It's a lot of... Uh, Magma down there. Get some boys over here. Whoa! Nice shot, guy. Okay. You killed your friend. Well done. Here, read a book. Or not. No matter me. All right, you need to stop. I think. Right, he's dead. This guy down here's dead. Bring my tablet. Ah, oh, this is gonna be annoying. Okay. We have to take this all. We have to 
be able to uh, properly finish the game. We don't want to go this way because this is the jungle, uh, the fungal caves in the jungle, which is not as bad as the fungal caves in this one. There are actually four different places in the game where the fungal caves exist. What is this? I'm not sure what happened here, but my god. It's terrible. Hearing some new music here to uh, 1.0. Very much in the style of the early access music. Very fun soundtrack too. There's a few, there's a few absolute banger tracks on the soundtrack that I really enjoy. Okay, almost back up to top, except we ran out of juice. Nope, we're too far to the left. That's a worm crystal, by the way. Uh, the worm crystal protects holy mountains from worms. Doesn't work very well. But it tries. Do I have enough? I do not. I'll try and hire that worm to come off of. There we go. Through here. Through all that collapsed garbage. Uh, can pop another black hole. Wrong button. So I wonder if this liquid's always going to be teleportadium. That looks like it is. Just gotta be careful where you put that. Uh, this is the Heesey base. We have not been here yet, so be careful. Um, we have not seen that wand yet. I'm kind of interested in the wand. Well, we are still not far again, so that's going to be an issue. Ooh, this is new. Downwards LARPA. Makes a projectile cast copies of itself with a downwards trajectory. I'm kind of curious in that, so we're going to pick this up. Uh, kill this guy so he doesn't take the one that's dropped. And put this in our inventory. And maybe play with it later. We'll see. Uh, I do want to see that other one as well. Of course, obviously, now that we're back on the fourth floor, things die a lot faster. If you recall, we were here before and we did not quite have quite as easy a run through it. But now we're kind of kicking everything's. kicking everything around, let's put it that way. Boom. Here it goes. Kind of come through here without caring the world. Alright. Continuing upwards. Oh, this uh, oil is being obnoxious. through the ground there because there can be any explosive there. This is interesting. I think we did see a guy with a wand um, when we first came through here, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we have a toaster in our exit zone. Let's take him out. We have multiple toasters around here. That jerk did damage to me. This confirmed a jerk. Let's head up. Here it is. Switch these around, and then once again, up we go. Uh, we are running out of black holes, so I am going to go ahead and recharge it now. And let's continue. 
I have the third zone here. Uko is probably going to be the most uh, deadly enemy in this zone. So this time, instead of going straight up, we're going to go over to the right side. Probably end up very close to where we were when we exited. Also keep in mind that this zone has the uh, effect of us losing uh, vision on the area. You can see this stuff is all disappearing that very rapidly. We're going to go a different way this time. Through here. Fighting these things? Yes, we got that right there. And we got some blood money. We can be killed the full boys. And girls. Here's the right side. Let's just head on up. I'm not interested in this money. Oh, we got a couple of potential flasks here. Uh, teleport and concentrate mana. Unfortunately, I'm not interested in that. Probably the biggest flask that I'm interested in is Ambrosia. Alright, so you can see this goes to the right. We are moving away from the ice caves. Heading over to the right here. We're going to start to discover some of the secrets of this game and how to unlock certain spells. And hopefully they haven't added too many orbs, but in certain static locations of this game, there are objects we call orbs. And the first time you encounter them, they each, they each uh, contain a spell. Some will be interested in and most of them won't be. Um, For the most part, I'm just going to use. Oh, you hear that sound? Ooh. Interesting sound, ain't it? What well, that might be. Hmm? Let's check. Are we too high? We might be too high. This uh, rock does look a little different than it has in early access. Yeah, yeah, we found a room, haven't we? Look at this. We found a nuke. Heed my warning or death and decay will follow. Hmm, interesting. That's why we have a lot of lava down here. Let's head up further. It's our first orb of the game. We can now see the number of orbs we've collected over on the right. Alright, see this is nice and open. That's good. We'll stay that way. Maybe. We come over here. And again. Have another orb. This one. It's a thundercloud. We'll not be taking that one. That's not the best ever. We're going to go over to the left here, and more than likely something curious is going to happen. You can see this is uh, collapsed. Huh. Fortunately, we have a way through it. We've been over here before. Remember, this is the. Uh, we're back on floor one. This is where the lava was. And we had made this bridge for us to walk along. The bridge of vulcan volcanic rock. The blood flask we found early. But yeah, we're back up in the first floor. We have managed to ascend all the way from the seventh floor to the first. We're not done yet. 
Oh, metal walls aren't gonna stop me. I'm kidding. Come on, we got a polymorphine over here. Remember, we cl cracked that earlier. Just in case there's something over here that might be interested in partaking in the unholy liquid. And here we are, back at the entrance. Where we started the entire game. Yeah, we started out here. This is exactly where we were. But there's more to this game, isn't there? Remember when I said ex exploration is fun? Why don't we just climb this mountain? Even better. Why don't we go fly in the sky? How about that? We can get a sea of lava if we wanted to. Um, there's something else we can do here, too. First, we need to get over this. This faithful tablet that we have the entire time. Sacrifice it there. Need some gold. Um, we could also do an alternate ending, but we're not going to be doing that. I'm going to leave that to the audience to discover what happens when that happens. We have other things to do right now. So, so far, we have picked up three orbs. I mentioned there were 11. We're going to access, th I think, three more on this right side here. But we're also going to fight something. We're going to fight something angry and full of legs. As we head east, outside of the world that we've just been spending most of the evening under. Got a nice lake over here, but you can see this mountain over here. Kind of a cool looking mountain with stuff in the background. We should wonder what's over there. We're gonna keep going this way. And this don't don't Get me wrong, this is a long way. This is not a short hike through the woods. I'm going to continue moving to the east. Ooh, something on the floor here. We got a couple of rats down here. It's, uh, this is not common, so we'll go in and play with them, take them out. Apparently, things have died down here at some point. This is a populated area. Something over here, too. A little indoor cave system, I like that. This is not a common formation, so kind of cool to see. It does happen from time to time. The air feels hot here in the desert. I hmm. wonder what that means. Here I am thinking, of course, the air is hot. It's a desert. We keep moving to the east here as we explore more. Big old fossil here. A little mystery is that thing holds. So. Continue moving to the east. A shadow here. What's up with this? Some new lighting going on? Whoa. The foot of a great structure, it looks like. It's 
follow it all the way to the top, shall we? So let's get rid of that pixel. Oh, we can't get rid of that pixel. There's a little pixel hanging in the air up here. Can't get rid of it. No idea what it is. Never tried to actually destroy it before. Get to the top, and what do we have? Yet another orb. This one. With an earthquake spell. Very dangerous spell in this game. It can show up on wands, the enemies can pick it up, and oh boy, does that not end well. But I saw something that looked kind of like a door down here. This is what I'm interested in. Just make our way in. Into the pyramid. Head on up to the top. Kind of looks a little bit like Temple Yard, doesn't it? Oh, there are a lot of enemies in here. Makes me wonder if they increased the number of enemies. I'm staying away from the acid because the acid can be dangerous. It will pick up some of this gold. We're not really worried about what the enemies can do because we do have quite a bit of damage. Another one, jeez. Everywhere. This. Kind of explore a little more of this. So we get a feeling as to what you can find in the depths of this pyramid. Or maybe what we want to find is in the heights of the pyramid. Aha! Our silencer is back. And what other enemies can be found in this crazy place? This guy again. The old buzzy boy. That looks fun. Anything else in here? I'd be very interested to find it. There it is. Yep, got this boy over here. He's gonna try to make things hurt. Look out. Shield saving us there. Oh, something happened down here. We got one of it. Acid boy going nuts. Kind of take care of business. The enemies here are much weaker than Temple of the Art, which is kind of nice for killing them. But what we're interested in is what's on this table over here. This altar kind of got this big green ball with some skulls on it. I wonder what this could be. This will, uh. Guess we'll have to find out, won't we? Oh my god, it's a giant spider. You can't hit him right now either. He brings friends. Fortunately, we can kill those friends pretty quickly. The other one just took off. I don't know where he went. Maybe more friends for us to play with. His friends do hit pretty hard, and they're like 20 a shot, and they can uh, cause toxic damage. And there's our chance. Oh, couldn't quite get him because he moved up against the wall there. And um he just decided to die inside the wall. That's the first. <laughs> Never seen that before, but fortunately we can make this a non-issue. There's a wandy drop. Not very good. Uh, normally also drops HP. Oh, there it is. It's right next to it. There it is. Grab that. So we get a little extra HP for our trip. We've explored the heights, but now let's go uh, let's get into the depths. Well, let's see what's down here. Is 
like more of the same so far. We got some lava pits in here as well. Of course, lava pits can happen anywhere in the pyramid. Ooh, look out. That guy still hurts. He just has a little less HP. See a lot of the same formations that you see in the pyramid. But all of a sudden we come down here and we see something completely different. A lot of Heesey. A lot of enemies that we've seen in Force 3 and 4. We're in the sand cave. The Heesey have made themselves a hideout. A lot of mines down here, it looks like. A lot of explosions gonna happen down here, fortunately. Explosion immunity. So we're not too worried about it. We've got CEO and all his friends. They die very fast. I think this guy's the more dangerous of the enemies right here. The guy that can create the poison is probably the top priority. We'll head further down here. Well, let's head down as far as we can. Ooh, we're on fire. That's not good. Fire's not something we want. Oh, we got some, uh, some bees here, too. Let's... Uh... Introduce it to some literature he didn't want to read. That's unfortunate. I have to go chasing after our tablet again. Probably all the way down here. There it is. Grab it. Uh, once I... This... That's gonna be obnoxious. I wish there was a way to not do that. Oh, I just got punched. The root of him. He did not take damage from that. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop the bombs, because I don't need them anymore, and we're going to put the salt down over here. Hold on. We have, we have an issue at the moment. We need to deal with it. That, that's not what I want to do. Uh, this is so annoying. Pick that up, and then let me pick this up. And that does not go into my inventory. Oh, that's, that makes me sad. I was hoping it would. That's going to make using the tablet very obnoxious. In fact, so obnoxious, I'm probably just going to get rid of this. Can you not? Or can I get an enemy that's not super annoying? Guy burning over there. That guy's dead. Start picking up some blood money. We need to get our health back up. Just get rid of this guy. I don't even want to do it. These guys are fine. Let's see, pretty easy to deal with. Got both of them too, that was pretty good. How deep does this cave go anyway? Two. Shield doing work here. Back at full HP, 335 now. Oh, we found a floor. Move the long floor here. Maybe find some enemies along the way to uh, give a bad time. Enough out of you, and your friends. Oh, don't want to get poisoned. Don't want to undo what we just did with all that blood money earlier. Music down here is all new, too. We got some really banging tunes. Hey, what we found. We found a lot of fire. <laughs> We've also found a little bit of necromancy. Also not a great spell, so we're not going to take it. So let's go ahead and move this way. In fact, what we're going to do next is we're going to try to go even further down, but we need to find a way down that's not through this. We 
have picked up five of the orbs that we're looking for. What's up, guys? How's it going? We've hit a wall, but we're gonna go through this wall. We're gonna head to the left. Fortunately, this wand does fire pretty fast. If it didn't, we would have a hard time doing this. This would not be easy. This particular substance is very difficult to drill through. Looks like we found some friends on this side, too, already. Shot it already. Do we have lava over here? I am not used to seeing lava over here. That's a lot of action. A lot of easy. The shield is coming in hot right now. I think we took literally one hit that entire time. What is with the lava is what I want to know. I did not think there was any lava over here. I am l legitimately curious here as to why we're seeing lava on falling. This could be... Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're going to have to be careful coming back down, huh? All right. Lava everywhere. Jeez. No idea what this is. You can see it over there. It's like a little pool of lava. I wonder if that's just the thing with us, is they've added some lava here. Well, we're going the wrong direction. Let's go in the correct direction. The direction is down. Seeing all this lava makes me want to switch wands here, too, because I can do that. Got a freezing wand that would freeze all this. That guy doesn't have to live. See more lava coming down. He's just coming with us half the time. Not even something we're doing, right? Are we making the lava by digging through? That might be what's happening. Oh yeah, we're on fire. <laughs> wow. This is serious shit. You can still see some coming down too. Like it's not going away. I I think the rock is just creating it on its own right now. That is very interesting. I wonder if that's part of the desert being hot. Like if that's what's causing it. This is certainly going to add challenge to runs that 
go after all 11 of these orbs. Kind of like that. But I don't know if that's the desert uh, curse happening or if it's something else. CEOs. Lots of CEOs. My god. He just took a ton of damage. Look at this. There's so many enemies here. So many enemies, we got ourselves stuck in the wall for a second. And we slowed the game down immensely here. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to consider this a problem, and... Possibly find enemies to just go ahead and get blood money from. Well, that's not working. Oh, crazy stuff. This this is a really awkward zone. Okay, he's not shooting anymore. Keep going. Long way down, huh? Look at all that lava we just made. Could also be doing this and freezing it as we go. That's kind of interesting. Maybe I'll just freeze these guys. Things to them. Unfortunately, freezing him also kills him pretty easily. That didn't even do what I wanted it to. Try again. Oh, you're just not supposed to be able to see me. What the hell? Okay, good. We got some out of that. That guy's gonna drown. There he goes. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. There we go. So, extra... Extra blood money here. Kind of trade places with the guy if we can. Take his money, heal us up. That's a lot of explosions happening over here in a second. Now they all go. Ooh, didn't notice this. That's some good healing there. Back up over 300. Ooh, and then we immediately do that. Uh, this is a lot of boys, so we're just going to take them out. Too many to deal with at once. I feel like the Count of Hisi that go through the zone have increased. Is this something up here? Yes, I do. Take it out. And then the other guy I'm going to try and freeze. And then completely with the shot. That's great. Try again. Catch! You didn't catch good enough. Hopefully we'll have some more opportunity to get kills. Right now we're at the bottom. It's gonna be interesting riding back up with all this lava, I can tell you that much. Hopefully we got some blood coming out of that, not gonna deal with this. Uh oh, this is a problem. These guys come up behind me, didn't want to deal with that. Uh, freeze gun is really coming in handy.
Give me that. Again, don't really need the gold, but... Always fun to collect gold. Okay, this guy we can have fun with. Oh, he's got a friend, though. Maybe if we just toss a tablet that way? Well, he caught it, but didn't give me blood... Didn't give me any blood money. That guy caught it. I'll take all that. This guy come up that way. He looks like he can. He can shoot me though. Jerk. Keep heading down. Got him. Just need to figure out where the tablet went. Actually, we don't, because there's another one down here somewhere, but. There it is. <laughs> Somehow it went through the ground. Fantastic. Oh, okay. On the bottom. What I believe to be the bottom. Let's head to the right here. A lot of uh, imagery here that uh, was not in early access. What we have here. We have orb number six. Our, our, our cement spell, rather. We will take that. Cement can be useful. But yeah, you guessed it. We have to go all the way back up now. Um, <laughs> it's unfortunate because we have no fast travel. And this place is producing lava. But we'll try to follow where we came down. Excuse me. Thank you shoot me. Ain't that easy. really interesting going into lava. Like, this is not usual for the cell. I wonder if it's always going to be like this now. And I, like I said, I think it's kind of cool that this kind of thing is in the game. It definitely adds a dimension of challenge. But certainly it's fun. Yeah. Almost at full. That guy hadn't shot me, I might be. Heading up. All the way up. It's gonna take a while, too. Not quite sure where I came down here. Kinda have to follow the fog of war, or lack thereof. I do remember I had quite a drop at one point. So far, so good. It's like I've guessed right so far. This is silly amounts of lava. Like, it's not even the fact that there's dangerous amounts of lava, it's just enough to set you on fire. Which is why I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little more water here. Looks like we get to go up this way. Places we've already been. Uh, I don't think we've been that way, though. Let's not go that way. Kind of looks like we came from this way. Oh, wow. Look at this lava. Like, that would be enough to be lethal if I stood in it for a few seconds. Still got lava coming from up this way. It's 
still coming. It's literally coming out of the, the uh, gray rock here. Like, if I were to do this real quick, we'd start to see it pooling up in here over time. It doesn't seem to be coming out of the ground. It's coming out of the rock. So, again, neat effect. And we're going to keep going up and up. We're going to have our freeze wand at the ready because we don't want to get caught unawares. Making sure there's nothing over there. Now, with all of these areas producing lava up through here, just gotta be super careful. This is where I took like 100 points of damage. That guy shot me through my shield. A legend. Absolute legend. Continuing upwards. And basically what we're going to do after this, uh, we have one more thing in mind for this particular video before um, calling a pause to festivities. Remember earlier when I said gold didn't matter? I had a very good reason for saying that. And we're going to see why in a moment. We're continuing to move upwards here. At some point we should see where we came in from the right. We're going to keep going up still after that. A lot of lava coming through here and a lot more being created. In fact, let's move up a bit so that we don't... Uh, catch more fire. All this exposed rock, that's a lot of lava that can be created. Looks like we were over here? Easy boy right there. I mean, we're starting to see lava fall upon us here. It is raining lava indeed. This is where we came in. We're going to keep going upwards. Wasn't our goal to begin with, but now it is. Get a little caught there. Hey, what's up? He's just hanging out there. A little pools of lava showing up here. More than just him. Thought there was one on this side, but I guess not. Oh, this could be fun. That's some blood money over there I'm very interested in. There we go, we're at full health. 335 HP. We take out an entire company of PC there. Good stuff. Soon we will be out of here. Yeah, we, you can tell we're getting close now because it's all solid. 
we are. Right next to our good friend, Mr. Tonehead. Let's go. Back over to the right. We're going to go past the pyramid this time. And discover what could be further beyond. There's already been a few things that we've been surprised by. Um, kind of wondering to see if there's going to be more to discover to the right here. There's actually two, th actually three points of interest to the right. Um, we will see all three of them, but we will only interact with two of them as we come down the right side of the mountain here. Further and further down we go. We see yet another mountain in the distance. Long, winding road to get to it, or maybe a river. Can't really tell from this angle. But here we are. Continuing to traverse the desert. Continuing to move ever eastward. Continuing to be interested in what may lie beyond. Oh, that looks interesting, doesn't it? There's a few of those strewn throughout the game, each play their own different song. The community has wondered if there's a secret behind them all, but none as of yet has been discovered, but we have discovered a wall. Only one thing to do when you find a wall, you climb it. Don't worry, this won't be nearly as large of a climb as we just did. Actually, we're at the end of the climb. Here we are. We're in triple question mark. Another wall to climb here. Well, this little thing's got some rock on the top. I wonder if this is going to create lava as well. You have to be careful jumping in, so. But it has this thing here. This is known as the Essence of Earth. We are not picking that up um, yet. We may pick it up later. But we're now going to just kind of casually dig through here. What possibly of interest would be in this direction? I'm kind of hoping that they change what's up here. Or maybe even removed it entirely. I'm also hoping it's not going to troll me. But if it kept what's up here here, then we're going to be very happy. Let's uh, loosen this up a bit. Here it is. You see it?
you see the cash money? Can you see all the cash money? Welcome to gold. All the gold. Literal mountain of gold. And we're going to collect a lot of it. If Scrooge McDuck comes to mind, I would not blame you. And you can collect this all, too, if you really want to take the time go through every nook and cranny to get it all, but we're just going to get the majority of it. There's a second such tile like this. We're not going to visit that on this route. It's also exceptionally hard to get to. It's kind of fun to know that these exist, and especially if you get black holes early. Um, specifically, it takes 13 standard black holes to get up here. Um, you can kickstart your run pretty good. Where it becomes less of a farming for gold and more of a farming for wands and spells. Uh, I don't use this tactic too much because normally you don't need it, but if I'm particularly desperate for money because my reroll has been garbage, and I'm getting awful perks, and it costs me like 6400 12800 to re-roll, I might come here and pick up this gold for a couple extra re-rolls. You can see we're already over 200,000 gold. It's a lot. Try to collect that much gold even by doing something like farming Temple of the Art, it's not easy. And you can just come here and get all this gold? It's not bad. So we have six orbs thus far, that means that there's five remaining. At least in this world. We would like to get to that eleven. And we will do so very likely in the next video. gonna visit one of the more dangerous spots in late game. And then take another dive very similar to what we did to get the most recent orb we grab. Hopefully it'll be a little less dangerous, but we'll see. But yeah, we've gotten most of that gold, and we are coming out of here with 274,000 dowry dues a lot of money. I have nothing that we can spend it on in this world, anyway. But this may not be the only world we see. We'll have to find out. We fall back down the desert, 
Uh, we're going to go back over to the skull that's just on the other side of the pyramid, and that's where we're going to stop for this video. Hope you've been enjoying this series thus far. It is not yet complete. Oh, yeah. I do plan on getting all 10 orbs, unlocking all 10 of those, all 11 orbs, and unlocking all 11 of the spells. And then for the rest of the week, we're probably going to go ahead and just try to win streak the game, get as many wins in a row as we can. In early access, I did hold the record with 11 wins in a row. Um, Alias Bot and Latali both came close with 10. For the longest time, Papa Neat held the record at 8. Not much is known about the record before that, though. Of course, me and Alias both have pretty distinctive runs as well. My 11 run win was getting all 11 orbs. So what you're seeing me do now is what I did for 11 straight games. I died on the 12th. But for the first 11 games it was uh, pretty good luck. Alias Bots got a distinction in his 10 runs. He would not fight the boss without picking up Glass Cannon. Glass Cannon sets your health to 50, but increases your damage and explosions by 5 times. It is a big risk. And he did it 10 times in a row successfully. The 11th time, he died before he found it. Some pretty interesting things that you can do. And here we are, right by the skull. We're going to end this video here, but we're not done with the series yet. We're going to have another video, uh, our ninth video. We will start from here. We will head west in a very surprising way and pick up two more orbs uh, before going to our tenth and beyond. So, Thank you for joining me. This has been fun so far, and hopefully we can continue to complete this run. And until the next video, thanks for watching. See you, bye.